Hey guys, welcome to Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program, EET 112, Digital 1. I'm your instructor, Jim Pytel. Okay, and today we're going to, um, actually before I start today's lecture, I wanted to mention something I've neglected to mention last, uh, last lecture. Um, digital to analog uh, converter. DAC. Digital. To analog converter. Just a little bit of terminology. You'll see the DAC um, just abbreviated like that. Okay, today's lecture though is about binary digits, logic levels, and digital waveforms. So you think is digital as a pretty high-tech thing, and it's actually not. Um, this is the dude that invented it right here. See what he's got here? He's got smoke, no smoke, smoke. Basically, that's exactly what digital waveforms are. It's basically a high and a low. In our case, it's two voltage levels. I mean, you can think of smoke, no smoke, um, dot, dash, oops, that's for the Morse code. This is odd, caveman. And high, low, digital systems. And that's voltage on this. Okay? So basically, uh, codes are combos of the states, high or low used to represent numbers or symbols or information. Um, a two-state digital system is binary. So binary system means there's two states. Again, smoke, no smoke, high or low. So basically, uh, the two digits, high and low, high is a one, low is a zero. So basically, a this is positive logic, by the way, which is what most everybody uses. Positive logic is high as one, low as zero. Negative logic is the opposite, but we're going to use positive logic. So again, our two states are high and low. Our digits are one and zero. So binary digit is a bit. Binary digit. So bit, bit. Binary digit. Okay? Uh, again, groups of bits used to represent data is a code. Okay, so let's talk about logic levels. Um, we said two different voltage levels are used to represent highs and lows. Um, let's just say a 5 volts equals high, and 0 volts equals low. What we could reasonably expect if we expect a high at a pin. We're going to see exactly 5 volts. We expect a low at a pin. We expect to see exactly 0 volts. But, you know, there's practical, concern, uh, practical concerns. There's a range of logic levels. Because you're never going to have exactly 5 volts or exactly 0 volts. So basically, there's basically a specified minimum and maximum. low and high. So let's just draw a little graph here and basically I'm going to draw my highs here, my lows here, basically the LO max, the LO min, the high max, the high min. Basically, any, any voltage level, basically, in this range right here, is considered a high. Any one in this range is considered a low. So basically, uh, there should be no overlap. That's the, now, this right here is a, is a bad case. This is not what you're going to see. Where the high max, high min. The L min. 
never going to see that. Next. Because basically what's happening here is you've got two overlapping ranges. That one for the high, that one for the low. Nah, that's not happening, okay? So we're looking at this guy right here. This is the one we're going to use. So basically, anything within the specified minimum, uh, excuse me, above the specified minimum um, for V high min and below the V high max, let's say it just so happens to be here, it's going to be considered a high. Anything above the V low min and anything below the V low max, let's say here, it's considered low. Uh, basically, our band exists here of unacceptable values. Just don't use those. Basically, the circuit shouldn't have those. And as you'll find out, you know, you get voltages in that range there, things, funny things start happening. So um, let's use an example of TTL logic, TTL logic, which we'll get into a little bit more later. Um, this range right here is two volts, anything above two volts is considered high, up to five volts. And below min is zero volts, obviously. And then up to 0.8 volts is considered a low. So let's say I've got 2.5 volts. It's going to put me right about here. So I've got a high. Um, and now I've got 0.5 volts. It's putting me right there. But now let's say I've got 1.2 volts. And Unacceptable value. Okay?